And neighbors in Buffalo still snowed in tonight, three days after record snowfall. And many of these residents say this is not the first time a plow has missed their streets following a major storm. The city's public works department says it's had dozens of pieces of equipment out on the roads. But these images taken today show roads still clogged with snow. The city's snow plan says the goal is to have every street in Buffalo plowed at least once within 24 hours after a snowstorm. Employees are scheduled for 12 to 16 hour shifts depending on staffing and equipment available and outside contractors are called in to help if necessary. Tonight, senior reporter Eileen Buckley is live in Niagara Square and Eileen, you spoke with neighbors who want city leaders to take a different look at this strategy. Well, Ashley, many Buffalo residents are saying enough is enough. They're telling me that they're tired of waiting for snow plows to come down their street after a big snow event. They say that they're demanding that City Hall now come up with a solution for that very old problem. We shouldn't be trapped in a home because of we can't get out due to the fact that the streets are not plowed. Shirley Stitt is a lifelong Buffalonian. She has lived here on Humber Avenue on the city's east side for 58 years. Stitt tells me when there's a snow event, her street doesn't get plowed or just gets a swipe with one path down a two way street. So when was the first time you saw a plow down your street since the snow started Sunday night? Um, they came about maybe two, three hours ago. After the plow swept through, Stitt's son came out to shovel out areas on the street where cars were parked earlier. Do you feel like you're almost taking it into your own hands? Well, you have to because we want to be able to get out the driveway when we need to. I mean, work, emergency, you want to be able to leave your home. We shouldn't be trapped in a home because of we can't get out due to the fact that the streets are not plowed. This problem was magnified because of the alternate parking. It was a changeover. Over in the University District, Common Council member Rashid Wyatt says he received more complaints than ever before. He says it's time to revise the city's snow removal plan. If we're a snow city, we should be experts at removing snow. And I think if we have to put the dollars there, even if we got to spend overtime, whatever it's got to be, we should be able to do it in a more efficient way. Wyatt says it's time to work with communities to create new strategies. Nothing should be off the table. I mean, people are looking at, they want to improve their quality of life. We know we're a snow city. We're going to get snow, so we have to look at how do we better do it. Wyatt suggests using church parking lots so people can park overnight off the streets. I asked City Public Works and Streets Commissioner Michael Finn if the city is considering ways of improving the situation. We'll be continuing to look at ways that we can improve technology, improve fleet, uh, improve training, wh whatever it is uh, to make better service. But I press Finn on decisions for alternate parking and what failed in the snow removal plan. Was it a mistake not to have people move their cars when the storm was happening? You gave them a dispensation not to. Was that a mistake? Uh, we did that because it just being realistic, there were some cars that just couldn't move. Uh, so what we do is ask people to use common sense and uh, move when they're able to. What can you learn from that plan and start to recreate that plan to come up with a new method? So as we uh, go through any uh, storm, we do a debrief that's actually part of the snow plan is after each one, uh, there's a debrief that's put together with lessons learned. Now, Finn says the amount of record snow, which was nearly about two feet in some parts of the city, along with all those parked cars on the side streets, made it very challenging for his crews to get the snow out of there quickly. And as of tonight, the city says that 95% of the city streets have had at least one snow swipe of the plow so far. That other 5% still has some cars blocking on those side streets. Live in downtown Buffalo tonight, Eileen Buckley, 7 News.